Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. In this video, we're going to talk about five things that you need to avoid when you are crossing the Blokrans River on the Otter Trail in South Africa. First up is probably the most obvious one, and that is high tide. You will be told when the low tide time is when you do your orientation when you start your hike, but you should also just do your own research and find out when low tide is going to be on day four of the Otter Trail, because that is when you're going to be crossing the Blokrans River. Even if you are a really strong swimmer, the Blokrans River mouth has really strong currents and can have really strong waves as well, and it is really very dangerous to try and cross it at high tide. Okay, number two is stormy weather. If you arrive at the Blokrans River mouth, even if it is low tide and it is really stormy, bad weather conditions, and there are a lot of waves pushing in from the ocean, then you definitely should not attempt the crossing. Rather, take the escape route and phone the sand parks officers to come and pick you up. Similarly, number three are rains and floods. If there's been a lot of rain over the last few days and there's flooding in the area, then the river is definitely not going to be safe to cross even at low tide. Rains and floods can also bring down a lot of debris which can be floating around in the river mouth. And that brings us to number four, which is if there is a lot of debris floating around in the water, or if it's extremely opaque, like muddy, churned up water, you should not attempt the crossing. Debris can be extremely dangerous during a water crossing. You can get yourself snagged on something and dragged underwater. Something can hit you and injure you or knock you unconscious. So if there are a lot of things floating around or if it's completely opaque so that you can't even see what is in the water, then definitely do not attempt the crossing. And then lastly, number five, if you are a non-swimmer, as in you cannot swim at all, I do not think that it is safe to attempt the Blokrans River crossing. Even at low tide, there is a channel of deeper water, and because it's a river mouth, waves tend to push into that river mouth and change the water level. So as a wave comes in, the water level gets higher, and you might suddenly need to swim when you're in that deeper channel. If you really cannot swim at all, then this is very, very dangerous and you should not attempt the crossing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future.